everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist. I specialize in lymphedema as well as oncology. And in this video, we're gonna go through a 10 minute full body lymphatic drainage flow routine all done from a chair. Movement and exercise are extremely important for the lymphatic system as well as lymphedema. And this video will be great for a morning routine or to take a stretch break during the day. All you need is a chair, maybe some water, and 10 minutes. This video is part of a series in collaboration with Lymphy Strong's Move That Lymph Group, which I will link down below in the description that you can check out further. So let's get started. We are going to go through 10 different movements. Each will be done for one minute each. We will be going at a slow pace, but I will talk through each movement as well as different modifications that can be done. So first is neck circles. We're gonna tuck our chin down and gently roll ear to the shoulder, and then we'll roll back down to the front and ear to the other shoulder. And we're gonna go back and forth, feeling a stretch on each end holding it into a stretch as you need. Making sure that you're breathing throughout and moving nice and slow. Next, we're gonna do shoulder extension. So I'm gonna turn so you can see, clasp the hands behind the back, and we're going to stretch back, opening up the chest wall. And then we'll come out of it and pull back again, going back and forth. Now, if this is too difficult to get into this position, then we can unclasp the hands and just squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. Trying to think about pinching your elbows back behind you and down, making sure we're really trying to open up the chest wall each time. Make sure that you're taking big breaths, feeling your rib cage expand into this movement. Next, we're gonna do cat and cow. So we're going to round the back out and then we're going to extend or arch into the back. We're gonna go gently back and forth. So again, turn so you can see, round the back out and extend into your back. We you wanna think about making a C shape with your spine and then arching back into the other direction. If you want a different position, you can put your elbows on your thighs and do the same thing. Arching back and extending. Good. Next one, we're gonna do thoracic or mid-spine rotation. So hands behind the head, and we're gonna rotate one direction, come back to the middle, and rotate the other. You wanna feel that rotation through your spine, but also your core and your trunk, making sure that you have good posture, sitting it up nice and tall. If you want a little bit more of a stretch across the chest, then you can put your arms out straight to the side and rotate with straight arms. That'll give you a little bit more of a stretch across the shoulders. Making sure you're breathing. And if you need a little bit of extra stretch, you can pause at each end.
Good. Next, we're going to stretch out the side. So take one hand, clasp the wrist, up and over to the side, gently stretch up and over, back to the middle, grab the other wrist in the other direction. Every time I get to the end, I like to take a nice big breath. Just to make sure we're opening up the rib cage and getting some mobility. Gently up and over, and you can lean over as much as you feel comfortable doing to get that stretch. If it is too much on the shoulders, you can also put your hands behind your head and just tip over to one way and then back and then the other. Good. Now you can either put your legs together or widen them out in front of you and we're going to reach all the way down, forward fold, round out your back to the ground, touch the ground, and then come all the way back up towards the ceiling. And back down. And then all the way up and reach. So getting a lot of core movement and a lot of stretching. If it bothers the back, then you don't have to go as far. You can just go towards your thighs and back up or try keeping the spine nice and flat rather than rounding out the back. Now we're gonna go knee to chest. So taking one knee either in front of the knee or behind and pull it up towards your chest and down. And then we'll go back and forth each one. Try to keep yourself sitting up nice and tall, but you can lean back in the chair if you need to. You can also march in place if you prefer. If this bothers the knee, you can stay here, but as high as you possibly can get with each march. Pulling it up just gives that extra stretch. Making sure that you're keeping your back nice and tall, not rounding out into your low back. Good. Next, we're gonna do hamstrings. So I'm gonna sit towards the edge of the chair. We're gonna put one leg out in front. We're gonna keep ourselves nice and tall and lean into it forward and then back. And then we're gonna switch sides and back. If someone prefers to do, do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, that is just fine. Nice and gentle, making sure you're keeping your chest up nice and tall. You'll feel this in the back of the legs or behind the knee. to do ankle motions and ankle pumps. So up on the toes, pull your to uh, put your heels down and then pull your toes up. So back and forth, so up on the toes, up on the heels. Big motions all the way up, all the way down. If some prefers, they can also keep their legs out straight in the last position and go up and down this way but either way will work as long as you're trying to get as much motion as possible to get that muscle pump to get the fluid moving. If you wanna do one leg straight and pump one at a time with that leg straight to get a little bit more movement through the back of the legs, that is just fine as well. Couple more, all the way up, all the way down. 
And then last, what we're gonna do is finish with breathing. You have a lot of lymph nodes in your core, so we wanna make sure that we're working on this. So you can place your hand on your belly, take a nice big breath in, let your belly expand into your hand, and then let it out. Good, try to get as much rib expansion as possible with that belly, so breath in and out. And in and out. Good, keep going at a nice slow pace. we're done. So that's a simple 10 minute routine that can be done from a chair to get a little lymph movement in during the day. If you want to see the other videos in this series, be sure to check out this playlist or subscribe down below to see when the videos come out. And I will see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.